fans will get this opportunity to witness an incredible event like this. Um, you know, just really, really excited. Obviously, the UK is, boy, always says it's all the time. They have the biggest and best fans. He was like, yo, can you imagine, like, if I was, if I was British, you know, if I lived in the UK, like, because we were just talking about this just the other night about, like, um, the Ricky Hatton fight and just like the incredible support that the UK fans, that they stand behind all their fighters. I mean, I wish the American fans were like that, but I mean, that you, you know, the UK fans, that's what I lo truly love about them, is that they they will ride until the wheels fall off. And again, a, a major shout out to them, and I'm just so excited. For them, they get an opportunity to uh, witness this great event on Sunday night. You talk about a great event. Where does this rank for you in terms of interest and appeal? Whenever Floyd's in town, it is a great event. Yes, yes. This ranks right up there. I mean, because again, you know, the the, the Logan Paul exhibition is something totally different from what Floyd has ever done. You know, at this level, at this level. He uh, obviously he um, had an exhibition with the, uh, the kid tension from Japan, but this is a whole different, a whole different level. It's a pay-per-view fight. It's going to be covered a around the world. Every country has major interest in this. I'm sitting there going through all our international agreements last night, and you know, I'm just like, my head is spinning. It, it, this, this event has generated incredible global, global interest around the world, so we're just really, really excited about it. You talk about global interest. Floyd turned pro in 96, 50 and 0. How has he managed to stay relevant, and how is he still one of the biggest attractions? Well, because, again, I, I, I think that he, he took his career very, very seriously. You know, he was always uh, always about the hard work and dedication. And he, 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 he laid a foundation for the younger generation to kind of follow his lead. You know, he's always took his career very, very seriously. He's never drank or never smoked. And, and he's worked his behind off his entire career. And what has really um, extended his longevity in the sport is him being a defensive fighter. You know, um, the, the, the less you get hit, the longer you're going to last in the sport. And Floyd has made great fighters look ordinary. You, you know, you look at some of his biggest wins. Now you look back on the Canelo victory. And look how amazing that victory is now. You, you know, you look back on the Manny Pacquiao victory. And that is amazing. And then, but that's just only two of the names on the 50 that he's beaten in his illustrious career. And we're talking about over 24 world champions. It's just incredible what he's been able to do. His legacy is secured. He will go down as one of the best ever. But on Sunday, is he risking it all? Honestly, his legacy is already cemented. But that will be, that would definitely, if, if for some reason, for some reason, the incredible happens, which I, oh my God, I don't even want to think about. Uh, it would definitely tarnish his legacy. It's, it's no doubt. It's no doubt. I mean, because the last thing that Floyd would want to happen is being the laughing stock of the entire world. Can you imagine if this dude hits Floyd with a shot and just even drops him? Can you, can you imagine? And that's what does, I'm being honest, make me nervous. Because again, I, you, you know, working against a bigger guy, it's always, you know, it's, 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 it's that intrigue to that because again, if he was far a heavyweight because he's gonna be a heavyweight on, on Sunday night. Logan Paul will be a heavyweight. So you have a welterweight essentially boxing a heavyweight. Any damn thing can happen. You know, Floyd has all the skills, but you know, you know, I'm realistic. You know, he hadn't done anything in four years. He keeps his body in 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 fitness shape, but not boxing shape. You know what I'm saying? And um, this, this guy's been working his tail off for the last couple years. He takes it very, very seriously. And he does, he has the basic things down. He has the basic things down. But when you're, when you're throwing punches with mean intentions, any damn thing can happen. Anything can happen. So that's, that part does make me nervous on like everything that we've worked for and got to this point. 
this shit could just go up and smoke on Sunday night. So, you know, I, I know mentally Logan's prepared and he's done a good job of the preparation and he's boxed smaller guys who are quicker, who got much more skills than he has, and, and he's done really well in camp with that. And actually, I've been really impressed with that part. We saw sure. Jake Paul and Floyd clash back in May when the fight was announced. Is it now personal for Floyd Mayweather? Does he want to punish Logan for his brother's antics? Well, I, I think that he wants to send a message to Logan Paul on Sunday night. I think, I think that Floyd is very clear on that part, that he wants to send a very clear message. And so we want all the fans to tune in to see what that message is going to be. And just finally, is Jake Paul banned from this event because of that behavior? No, he's not banned from these things. No, he's not banned. So I, I expect to see him on Sunday night. And on Sunday night, what can we expect? It's going to be an incredible show, isn't it? It's going to be an incredible show. I mean, opening the, opening the broadcast, we got Chad Ochocinco, Johnson. I mean, you know, one of the greatest wide receivers, the flashiest wide receivers ever to play the sport. He's going to be making his uh, making his foray into boxing on Sunday night, and he's been working with uh, both of the Charlos leading up to this fight, um, and so that's going to be very, very exciting. And I can't wait to see him go in there and showcase what he's been working on. He's taking on Brian Maxwell. Um, He's uh, competed as a professional. Um, he's had a couple MMA bouts. So that should be an interesting challenge for Chad. Then we move into the next bout. And this is for all the boxing fans. We got former Unified Champion, Jared Hurd. He's looking to get back in the mix and, and show everybody that he's one of the top fighters out there in the sport. This fight would be um, at 160 pounds, but he's looking to move back to 54. He always saying that he's the top dog at 54, you know, so, but he's fighting our fighter, Luis Arias, and I've gotten a chance to watch Arias over the last three months in the gym, working very hard, um, and the level of guys that he's been sparring, I'm telling you, He's more than prepared to 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 uh, upset her on on Sunday night. More than prepared. And then of course the main event. We cannot wait. Oh no, we got the co-main, and we know what happened with uh, uh, Pascal. Uh, he, uh, oh my God, I don't even want to go into that. That was disgusting what he did, and um, and I'm very confident it was intentional. Um, he's. He, he put Badu's life at risk, was attempting to do that, you know, because um, anything can happen when guys are in there. And he was, he was very adamant and, and attempting to, to, to gain an unfair advantage. And it's just disgusting, you know. Um, and so obviously he's completely out of the bout, and now we have a replacement, and um, Badu's looking to go in there and, and have an impressive performance, and then we're gonna go from there, and then I fully expect them to be in a big event, you know, following this fight on Sunday night. Into the main event, the granddaddy of them all. Oh, speaking of granddaddy. Um, so again, that is a, the, the, the Mayweather-Paul fight, I guarantee you, will be a very highly, highly entertaining event. We cannot wait. Thank you for your time, Leonard. Thank you. And, and, and then one last thing, um, uh, I'm really disappointed, um, the UK's own, he's our fighter, but Al Riley, want to give him a shout out, he's a, a young up and coming prospect, and I'm just truly excited for him and his future. Okay.